one of the Jewish stories about Jesus. Let me tell you the story, the beautiful story. And um, that story was this. He was, <laughs> this was before he fully started his ministry. And um, before actually he chose his disciples. And there was, a, there was one of those guys who became uh, his disciple. He was, he was bitten of a serpent. The young man was bitten of a serpent. A terrible serpent. And he was dying. So they rushed him away from the place. He, had, he, he actually put his hand in a nest. A bird's nest. And trying to catch maybe the little ones or something like that. Not knowing that a serpent had come in there. Cleared out the eggs. And uh, was now living inside. <laughs> So when the boy put his hand in the nest, the serpent struck and beat him. And he was dying. So they rushed him. As they were rushing him away, Jesus was with some other people. Having some discussions with some other people. And those who were with Jesus noticed they were carrying this young man. And they said, what happened? And they told them. He said, bring him to the master. They said, no, 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 we have to hurry. He's dying, he's dying. He said, bring him here. So in fact, they forcibly took the guy and brought him to Jesus. Then Jesus said, what happened? They said, he's asking questions. Please take him, hurry. <laughs> hurry, we've got to go. The guy's dying. So Jesus said, hold on. What happened? He said, a serpent beat him. And so Jesus said, now, <laughs> this is a true story. Now, Jesus said, all right. Where is the serpent? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. They said over there. Over there, some place over there. So he said, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so they followed Jesus. Together with the boy that was dying. And they went back to the place. And they showed him the nest where the boy put his hand and was beaten of that serpent. Then Jesus said, oh, you put your hand here. He said, yes. <laughs> then he said, he called a serpent. He said, where are you? Come here. <laughs> Guess what? The serpent came out and showed itself. Then Jesus said to the serpent, suck back all the poison that you put in this boy's hand. The serpent climbed the boy's body, came to the hand, and put its mouth there and sucked back all the poison. Hold on. And then went away and actually died. And then Jesus touched the young man and said, you are free. That young man became one of his disciples. Now, here was uh, uh, so much in there. So much in there. Uh, oh, he could have healed the boy by a single word. Perhaps, I guess he wanted to show them a lot of stuff. He called a serpent out from wherever he was. And the serpent came. He, he said to the serpent, suck back all the poison you put in there. This is authority. This is authority. I remember one time, you know, I was praying. A long time ago. You know, there's the, I, I, I knew that ant. There's a certain kind of ant that will sting you. And you'd feel, I mean, it'll swell up. And then you'll have pain the rest of the day, if not two or three days. So, I was bitten of that uh, ant. For a spring. And I felt it. And I turned. And it was this ant. I said, oh, no longer possible. And I continued what I was doing. 
no pain. Everything was normal, no pain. Then I thought again, you know, I was, I was just doing what I was doing. I looked at it, I said, but it's here, the map is here. I said, isn't it wonderful? I wasn't trying to resist pain. It just wasn't there. Because whatever it injected, which used to cause that terrible pain, whatever it injected, couldn't walk anymore. Yeah. See, you come to a point in your life where you understand, I got the life of God in me. Yeah. Are you still there? Yeah. Christ consciousness. There may be little things. But you have the, the nature of God in your spirits. You've lost your fears. Glory to God. Remember what Jesus said. These signs shall follow them that believe. He said in my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they shall drink any deadly thing. It doesn't matter how they drink the deadly thing. Whether their mouth or through their skin or through their veins. It doesn't matter if they shall drink any deadly thing. It shall have no power over them. That's what Jesus said. So we've passed that level of being poisoned. See that? We have another nature. We have another nature. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, you know, because I was exposed to mosquitoes. That's why I got this malaria. No, no. That's in the past. That's in the past. There's a new breed. There's a new kind. A new species. Do you understand? A new kind of man. Superior to Satan. Satan. 